Hive Mind Network Online, Channel 0093. Secure uplink initiated. Stinger OS now active. Hi guys, welcome back. Night Team 4 here. We're going to continue with the tutorials. Fingerprint. Let's go. Look how far you've come. Glad to see your recruitment officer is right. It won't be long until we turn you into an excellent agent. Okay, back to work. After you find a network's footprint, you'll need to scan for applications or services which are running on the server. Once you identify them, you'll want to search for any known vulnerabilities you can exploit. Services on a server need to communicate with the internet through a port. In the same way as when browsing the web, your browser connects to an application server via the default port 80. Scanning every possible port is a laborious process, but the Stinger OS comes with a distributed proxy network, using hundreds of servers to return results in seconds. Let's see how well you can find an open port and identify its running software. Agent Dylan will guide you through the explanation. I've used uh, Stinger before. Time to learn more about our target. Fingerprint commands are pretty straightforward. To scan the www subdomain, type fingerprint www.1904.com. You can enter this command in any terminal to automatically launch the fingerprint module. Also, you can launch the terminal via your information gathering menu. I've put the exact command in your certification objective, so make sure you follow the objectives. So it says there that you can launch it via uh, via the information gathering menu, but also uh, in any terminal. This is interesting when it says terminal. Information gathering module initiated. Let's just test that. Let's go DNS and VMAP. Oh, look at this. Module initiated. So you can have multiples up at, at one time. That's cool. Can I resize? Oh, I can. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, this is going to get so deep, this game, I can tell. <sighs> okay. So what do we got? DNS host mapping. We've got fingerprint over here. So let's just type in from here, fingerprint nightteam4.com. Okay. Information gathering module. Initiate. You already have an instance of this module in your workspace. Stinger OS allows you to have multiple instances of the same module in the same workspace. Remember that you can always switch from one window to another. Drag your windows to rearrange them and organize your workspace as you wish. Thank you. So it says scan completed. 1904.com. So I think that's okay but we haven't successfully completed the mission. So did I forget to start it? That's possible. Start training, yes I did. Oh, I didn't do www dot, okay. That was my bad. Gathering module initiated. That was my bad. Found one. Got to be so precise with these things. But this is so cool. So cool. As you can see, we're running an Apache server on port 80 for our website. Simple stuff, and thankfully, the fingerprint module didn't identify any vulnerabilities. Can't have the public face of our organization vulnerable to attack. Anyway, a fingerprint works by testing hundreds of requests for a specific technology and recording the software version that's running, along with its known vulnerabilities. Go ahead and run another fingerprint, this time on test.1904.com. I've set the subdomain up specifically for you. There's a subdomain called test, okay. So test.19.4, okay, let's do it. Information gathering module initiated. Two. Okay, but, oh yes, okay, completed. So what have we got? VS, FTPD, Apache, and POP3. POP3 is a male port. You'll now realize it's possible for a domain name to have multiple ports. In this case, None of them are vulnerable, but I'm going to give you access to a vulnerable technology. 
I want you to target the subdomain server.nightteam4.com with your fingerprint module. So fingerprint server.nightteam4.com. How's fingerprint work? Is it just that? Yeah. Oh, MySQL 5.521. Yes, MySQL has have got some vulnerabilities. That's that's real. That's genuinely accurate. Um, I have a I had a client before when I was doing web domain or web web related stuff, and um, yeah, I highly recommended that he would upgrade to 5.5.21. And in doing that, he did run across some conflict issues with some bespoke software that he had on his system. So. Yeah, I mean, that's accurate. That's real. That's pretty cool. I like. Impressed. Okay, what's next? Exploit database. I love databases. Let's go database. With information on your target's domain, subdomain, port, and software, you can now determine the best way to infiltrate their network. The fingerprint tool may flag up vulnerable technology, but you still need to know how to exploit that weakness. Your Stinger OS has a built-in database of all known exploits. Each one has a unique CVE number, short for Common Vulnerabilities and Exposures. The database is funded by our friends at the Department of Homeland Security, so feel free to send them a thank you card later. A CVE record from our exploit database includes everything you need to reproduce or even automate the attack process. It's like your very own version of the Anarchist Cookbook. Knock yourself out. That is interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Let's start with a normal attack vector. Pull up your DNS and vhost mapping and fingerprint modules to find a vulnerable technology on the domain freekevin.net. Freekevin.net, okay. Information gathering module initiated. Freekevin.net. Oops. Um, minus T. Let's do the ten seconds. Okay, so we've got forums, uh, but that's not quite what he's looking for, I guess. Uh, let's. Um, what's the other one? OSINT scan. Recovery.net. Dash s. Google.com. Dash d five. 500. Same two. That hasn't completed the mission. Let's make sure I have started the mission. I'm thinking the forums is going to be the. No, that's not done it. Okay, I am not following instructions well here. Pull up your DNS and vhost mapping and fingerprint modules. Fingerprint. Okay, let's do a fingerprint. Uh, no, let's not do that. Let's go in here and uh, bring up the fingerprint. Information gathering module initiated. So, um, fingerprint forum dot free Kevin dot net. Interesting. Nil point. That's Apache, so that isn't uh, a vulnerability. Um, okay. Let's uh, let's have both of these up and do a deeper search. So uh, let's do a twenty-second webmail. That could be our access point. Let's try that. All up to date, huh? <clears throat> okay. Uh, let's do a deeper OSINT scan. Looks like intranet could be our next target. Looking a bit more promising. SharePoint 2007. Ooh. I've got a SharePoint server. It's not up, but uh, that's interesting. Okay. Good to know. Well done. Let's see what we can learn about the vulnerabilities. 
open your exploit database module in the information gathering menu, then type the command searchsploit sharepoint-2007 to bring up the CVE vulnerability record. I like this game. I like this game a lot. Information gathering module initiated. Do, 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 do. Unrestricted file upload vulnerability in the document conversions launcher service in Microsoft Office SharePoint Server 2007 Service Pack 2. When the document conversions load balancer service is enabled, this allows remote attackers to execute arbitrary code via a custom SOAP request standard operating activating procedure. Oh, I should know that from my uni days. I nearly remember it. Uh, anyway. I'll learn that and come back to this. To TCP on port 8082, also known as a malform request code execution vulnerability. I love this. This is awesome. They should definitely have um, students get this game and just play it and learn so much. Awesome. 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 Let's See? go for one more exploit with the command searchploit CRM 4.0. Then we can launch into the juicy stuff. Network intrusion. I like it. I like it a lot. CRM 4.0. Let's do this. Information gathering module initiated. So search exploit. CRM 4.0. Go back. Check what I think I know. Oh, just search point CRM 4.0, not the end bit. Okay, interesting. This module exploits a stack buffer over overflow in CRM's RPCSS service or RPC listener via DCOM. Custom crafted SOAP request can execute code via UDP. This vulnerability was originally found by the last stage of Delirium Research Group and has been widely exploited ever since. This module can exploit the English version of Windows NT 4.0 Service Pack 3. Windows 2000, Windows XP, and Windows 2003, all in one SOAP request. Bloody hell. Newer versions newer versions of Microsoft products may not be protected against it. May not be? It's very interesting. Congratulations, you've reached a new rank. A new avatar frame is now available in your agent profile. Okay. Any sort of clue on where it is? Or what it is? Well, you can sort of make your own. That's pretty, pretty smart. Oh, I like this one. Let's change. Did we change? We changed. Okay, cool. Me like it very much. So, Fox Acid is next, so I'm going to wrap this episode up there, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Still loving this game, still think it's awesome. It's so, so well done. I have to dip my hat, lift my hat, doth my hat, whatever the term is, I can't remember, to the developers of this game, uh, Alison Smith. Well bloody done. And I'll be looking out for other... Uplink as well is a game from Alison Smith, I think. Um, so I think I'm probably just going to go and buy the whole lot and just play this constant, <laughs> excuse me, constantly. Really enjoying it so far. And all I'm doing is the tutorials at the moment. I haven't even got into the game. It's going to be really difficult, I can tell. It's going to be a real mind bender. But what a brilliant way to start. Oh, so impressed. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. Closing route access. Goodbye.